Welcome back, folks. We're doing very well. We are going to win this one. We are going to win this one. And I'll tell you why. Because the Queen's Impatience is going up by plus 0 02 per minute. But our resolve is going up by 80 per minute because of our happiness here. So that is fantastic. So, yeah. We're basically going to win. We're basically going to win. Which is just amazing. First time I win. We lost the first one, and then we win this one. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And we have a beaver available, so let's stick a beaver in there. And basically we could just sit back and wait. Uh, we are getting luxury done as well. We are getting this done as well, except for the luxury goods, because we don't know how to make them. And we're not going to get uh, this done either. Well, we could do this one. Let's pick that. All right. So basically now we're just waiting for the Queen's... Uh, for our reputation. So a granary can produce pack of crops, pack of provisions, and moss soup. The carpenter can produce planks, training gear, and pack of luxury goods. Uh, let's do that. We don't have any luxury stuff, though. Uh, we don't have a way to make the stuff that needs to go into the luxury goods, I think. We don't have any one staffed in the brewery. Why not? Um, let's get you two in there. Okay. 22 of 50 luxury delivered. Which is great. We don't have anyone in the spark do rain collector, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, these trees are being cleared somewhat. Uh, we opened up this. There's another thing. We have veggies. We have tons of veggies. So let's tell you to do that, and we'll send to the citadel. The trader is here. I don't think we need to trade anything. We could get some simple tools. Uh, I wonder how much we need. So we can give her six of these. Wow, that's actually almost enough. Uh, then we can give her some fabric. But if we give her 10, that's too much. Five. That's enough trade. All right. So that means that we could do something like this thing. But we don't have anyone to do it right now. Let's pull uh, one of you out of here. And tell you to do this. Send it to the Citadel, and that will be enough to win it for us when we get those two things done. And uh, we are getting 0 0.91 right now, but that's going to go down now because we are in the storm. So our people are going to start being a little bit unhappy. But that's okay, because we are going to, get to win this now. Uh, the five of eight have been delivered there. And there's actually still... We're still going up by 0.53. This has been delivered. And... And... There we go. We have won. Fantastic. All right, uh, experience point 60, discovery one, fertile meadows, swamp wheat farmer, no deaths, and we got 16 food stockpiles. Nice. World map. We won! I can't believe we won! 
Right, uh, okay, I guess I forgot to name our town, uh, but that's okay. Fantastic. All right, let's go to Smoldering City. Uh, we have some deeds that we did. Uh, we have unlocked these three, so we need to get up here, but we don't have the experience for that. And we don't have these things, machinery and artifacts. But we can get this one. Sharp sickles, if we get enough experience, I mean. Uh, plus two to herbs production, gain additional herbs every yield, nice. Uh, fungal guide, uh, ancient mushroom farming techniques are uh, described here. A mushroom production is increased by one for every 25 times it's produced, interesting. And a herbalist camp, a building blueprint. Ooh! So we can get that from the start. Nice! I want to unlock that. I want to unlock that. Let's take a look at the deeds, because we did some of these. We did... Ooh, we get experience for that. Hey, Fertile Meadows. Win a game near the Fertile Grounds modifier. Done. And that takes us up to 50. Or 150. And new Citadel upgrades available 3. Fantastic! So we can do the upgrades. We also did the Swamp Wheat Farmer. That's another 50 experience. Nice. Uh, no deaths. No one died. Another 50 experience. Amazing. And Discovery 1 we did as well. So that's another 50 experience. Nice. Anything else that we have done? I don't think we can do these down here yet. But I don't know. No, we haven't done any of the others. Uh, one of three. Fast conversation. Win three games in one cycle. Okay. Uh, Alright, we are well on our way here. Order from the Queen. We are... Okay on the way here. Uh, win a game with at least 35 villagers. Build a settlement at least four fields away from the Citadel. Collect 10 points of reputation through Villager Resolve. We've done three. Win three games. Uh, win a game near the Stonewood Infestation modifier. Win a game with 200 paths built. Uh, don't let the Queen's Impatience grow above six in a single game. Okay. Well, we've done 61%. Not bad. But we can now buy upgrades. We can buy this upgrade. We want to unlock that. So we need machines, machinery, or artifacts. But this means that we have the herbalist camp from the beginning now. That is awesome. All right. So, I mean, we can't get out there. Uh, we could build here to get out to this or we could build out here to get out to this to that um you know what let's see what do we want to unlock next uh, this one gives us embark points plus one embark point okay and this one gives a sword trader uh, he might have cooked and raw food, pottery tools, as well as perks and blueprints tied to agriculture for sale. He's willing to buy packs of goods, raw food, building materials, and some crafting materials. And we would get the rain mill. can produce flour, oil, and manuscripts. So I think it's this one that we want first for, because of the blueprint. Uh, yeah. So that means that we want the uh, luxury artifacts thing. So that's the that's this one that, that we want to get to. So let's do that. We have three embark points. Ooh, we can now get extra settlers from the start. Hmm. I think we only have three points. These cost two. 
think I want the food because food is so scarce in the beginning. The way we call it uh, nerd nerd ton. Nerd ton. Let's embark. It would have been nice with some extra settlers from the beginning, but I think the food is more important. Once we have more embark points, we can maybe get one of those settlers going, an extra beaver or something. Okay, clearing buzz cricket. Uh, clearings buzz with cricket sounds. Gain 30 insects for each discovered glade. Uh, services. Okay, humans, beavers, and lizards. Uh, euphoric vapors active in drizzle active in drizzle okay these are only active in drizzle okay that's something to remember fulfill at least the following needs complex food times two okay so yeah the storm and then at uh hostility forest hostility three we get uh Fading. Uh, unit has a 40% chance to perish every 50, 45 seconds if we don't do that. Okay. That's for the lizards. And then active from hostility 5 during storm. The rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. Stacks with hostility level minus 20 to global resolve. Okay. Alright. Well. Let's see what we have. We have... Uh, reed field. Okay. We have some uh, stone birds' nests. And that's about it. Alright, where do we. We have some hostility up there. We have some hostility up there. Down this way looks pretty good. With some nice big. Uh, Road, uh, glades over here as well so we want uh, two stone cutters camps uh, I want one um, I think here and then I want one um, over here I think okay then we need some shelters uh, let's see so if we stick you down here and build a path up like this uh, we will destroy that and we'll put shelters here okay we will uh, prioritize these Okay, let's go. And then I want a scavenger's camp. Which can't hit all of it. So this gives us roots and clay and reeds. This gives us eggs and possibly meat. So I think I want the scavenger's camp down here to start. All right. Oh, that was a stone cutter scamp. What is this? This is stone cutter scamp. Darn it! Uh, demolish that. Uh, wood cutter scamp. In here. You move. We don't have anything to cut with stone right now. Uh, no, not a stone cutter scamp. A wood cutter scamp. There. And we'll prioritize. No, no, not move. Prioritize you. And prioritize you. Darn it. Right, well. It's fine. Uh, okay, that's going up. That's going up. Right, well, we built one stone cutter's gap, so we have it, if we need it. We'll get some people in here, we'll get some people in here. 
Okay. Shelters are going up. Uh, we want to mark some trees. Uh, not that many, though. Something like that. Uh, we don't need those cut either. We want to mark some trees over here. Let's do that. And let's do that. Okay, let's get some glades open. Uh, we do have a cornerstone. Uh, so traders will now arrive 25% quicker and packs of trade goods will be sold for 25% more. Local taxes gain two ember for ember 10 ale produced. We don't know if we can produce ale yet. Uh, plus two to reed production, gain additional reed every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Well, we know that there are some reeds here. Um, let's see, we need a trading post and tin amber, or we need a scavenger's camp and a stonecutter's camp. You'll pick this because we already have that, uh, basically. Um, here we need ten copper ore. Plus one to copper bar production, gain additional copper bars. That is nice, but we don't know if we are going to actually be able to make them yet. Uh, let's see, lumber mill. We produce planks, simple tools, and flour. Supplier produce fabric, pottery, and packs of trade goods. I think we'll do the fabric. And the small farm or the herb garden. Uh... Let's do the small farm. Foragers camp or herbalist camp. But we also already know herbalist camp, don't we? But we don't get the... Didn't we unlock herbalist camp? Maybe it's just that we can now choose. Uh, berries, mushrooms, and herbs. I think I'm going to go with the herbalist camp. All right, well, let's speed up. Uh, we are in Drizzle for a little bit yet. Hopefully we open these up. There's one, so that gives us 30 insects. And there's another one. So, Copper Bay, nice! All right, so we can build our mine. And we have, what are these? Uh, herbalist camp, mine, unlimited charges, nice. All right, we're still in drizzle. We're still in drizzle. Please clear this before we go get to um, to clearance. Come on, guys, you can do it. No, you can't. All right, let's uh, let's. Clear some trees here for a bit more building space during the next couple of phases. And here, I think we'll clear a few trees as well. All right, so we really need a furnace. We really need a furnace. Uh, we can put a. Well, we'll put the lizard in there. Okay, we can deliver this now, which is nice. That gives us something, a clothier or a carpenter. Coats, manuscripts, and pack of luxury goods. And planks, training gear, and packs of luxury goods. I think I'm going to go with the clothier. Uh, I want to build some industry as well. Uh, I want to build a uh, crude workstation and a makeshift post. Okay. Uh, we could build the mine as well. We yeah, will build the mine. Uh, 
And down here, this is the herbalist camp. We need to build a herbalist camp. We have more of it up here. Oh, and we have farmland over here. Nice. Right, we need more people. Um, I guess we'll put you in there. We don't have a builder right now, but that's okay. Kinda. Okay. Uh, copper ore. Let's pick that. And then... What's that? A simple path doesn't cost any resources. 5% villager speed increase. So 35 of those for... Faster movement on the roads. A train post and 10 amber. Or that. I think we'll go with the paths. Um, and we'll build some paths now. Uh, let's move you somewhere where you're not in the way. Path. So, uh, one, two, one, two, three, there. And then down to here. Alright, it's storm time. Uh, let's take a lizard out of here. And a human out of here once she's done. And let's also build some more shelters because we will be getting more people soon. So something like that. How many paths do we, do we have built now? 30 of 35. Okay. So we need a few more. Oh, there's more copper veins here. Nice. Uh, let's... Uh, let's... Let's not build this one then, because there were only like two here. There's a lot more over here. Uh, so mine... I can't even reach all of them with this mine. Okay, uh, let's see. 111 or 21. I think I want the two beavers because we can get another beaver in here and another beaver in here. Uh, we will move you. in here and we will mark a few trees for clearing we will move you uh, down here and we'll mark a few trees for clearing no not demolish like that okay so we're in drizzle now We have enough housing. We're getting some extra. We are producing in here. Let's stick a lizard in there as well so that we get some more things produced. We need more bricks. Uh, which means we need more clay. Because we don't have any clay right now, do we? No. So you know what? Uh, how, how many charges are left here? Let's just move this up here. Because there's a chance of getting clay there. Uh, 
I want to build a herbalist's camp as well. I don't have that many... Um, of those uh, bolts left. And food production. I want a small farm. What what does the small farm cost? Just two planks. Good. Let's build that there. We have this thing, but we don't have any simple tools. Uh, this is opened up. Uh, root deposit. Okay. This is opened up. There's more farmland. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to open that up. So that's my trees to be chopped down. Not you. Let's just do that. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, I want to open up to in here as well. Well, I think I want to open that one up first. Let's move you. Down here. And we'll mark trees to be chopped. Not that many. Okay. So, this is good. Right, we have another cornerstone, root delivery line. That is not bad. Uh, rainwater can now be distilled even more effectively. Gain four crystallized dew for every ten spark dew produced. Okay. What do I need crystallized dew for, though? Some woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain two barrels for every five planks produced. I mean, root delivery line is food, right? Now, let's do that. Uh, um, we, I mean, not the, the, the roots, but the barrels. Uh, we have some new things that we can pick here. So, let's see. We need... Fulfill your villagers need to clothe 30 times. That would give us parts, which is really good. We need a brewery and ale for this. We don't know that we will get to get a brewery. Let's pick that. And 10 packs of crops gives us three humans. Plus three to humans resolve and two parts. 10 packs of provisions gives us three lizards plus three to lizards resolve, and plus two parts. I think we'll go with the humans. And we need to build some more path. So let's just build some path down here. We have two humans that are not assigned to anything right now. Do we have any clay right now? No. Uh, we need to... Uh, are we in drizzle still? We're still in drizzle. For a little bit. Can you please chop down those trees during drizzle so that we get the insects? I don't think they'll make it in time. Well, this one might. There's a beaver on its way down there. Why are you chopping that tree? I have not asked you to chop that tree. All right. Uh, we are going to move that. Remove that. We are going to move you over here to the farmland. And we are going to mark these trees for chopping. We are going to move you... Uh, over to this 
and we'll mark these trees for chopping. All right. All right, so we're in clearance now. Uh, we have 10, 13 people. Did we get someone extra? I don't think so. Uh, but we can deliver this now. So villagers move 10% faster on roads. Deliver that. We almost have the uh, copper ore. Uh, we need to make packs of crops. So let's remove this. Put a human in there to make pack of crops. Here we need two more bricks. All right. A smokehouse or a bakery? Jerky, pottery, incense, biscuits, pie. Hmm. I think biscuits and pie. Let's put the bakery here. And I don't actually think these trees need to go. And they're not all of these either. Something like that. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, we're making planks. We don't have the clay for another brick. Do we have any clay? Zero. Uh, Zero clay. That's not great. All right, so our farm will fit here and hit all of the... So that's beautiful once these two get chopped down. And we, of course, need to build uh, farm fields. Uh, so, farm fields. Like that. I'll move you in there. Alright. Let's storm next time. Uh, I don't want to open up anything, so let's just move you up here and mark some of this for clearing. And you can... We can mark uh, some of this. Not all the way, but some of it, so that we're almost through to that blade there. Okay. Uh, let's set a limit here to 20, 20, and 20. How many do we have? We have 25 planks. All right. We have the copper. Yay. Deliver that. And that gives us another thing. Planks, training gear, pack of luxury goods, lumber mill, planks, simple tools, and flour. Didn't I already get something that could make simple tools? No. So I want to make simple tools. Okay. And I want flour as well, so that's perfect. All right, we have more people. 
Uh, I think we'll go with two beavers and a lizard. Uh, we have another cornerstone, steel picks ask. Access plus two to stone production. Gain additional stone every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Plus two to read production. Gain additional read every yield from farming, gathering, farming, or production. So Hilda's cookbook. Top 10 tips on how to cook more efficiently by Sahil again. Five jerky for every 10 mush soup produced. I think we'll do the read thing. We already have a read thing, so we'll be drowning in reeds. What are reeds good for, though? I don't know that we'll be able to do uh, mush soup. I don't know that we'll be able to make mush soup. Ooh, we can get some people in here. Well, we'll get one beaver in there. Then we'll get this human out and put a beaver in there. Uh, we'll get you out and put a human in there, I think. And we'll put... Uh, you like being in there, don't you know? All right. Actually, you know what? Uh, I don't think we need two in here. We can put another scavenger in there. Uh, this is the stone cutters camp, which we have. And we can move this, but over here. And add a guy in there. All right, we're in Drizzle now. So let's not do that. Move you uh, over here. And we'll mark this one tree for clearing now. Uh, we will also mark this one tree. I know there's no camp there right now, but uh, this woodcarver's camp can move over here and get that done. All right, the bakery is going up. Uh, we need people in the farm. Um... This is almost built, but we need people in the farm. Let's get one human out of here and stick a human in here. Uh, We'll pick Sir Hilda's cookbook, but I don't know that we'll be able to actually get it. Uh, we have four of ten packs of crops. All of the... well, these three unlock in 13 seconds. Alright, we're not building anything right now, so we might as well stick a human in here. And we'll say... So it makes 10 every time, so we'll say 30, 30, and 15. Actually, we won't do that yet because I want to... No, that's fine. We did the copper thing. So we can turn this on as well. Okay. All right, we have our new orders. So pack of trade goods, pack of building materials. This will give us 20 amber, which is really nice. Great bricks. I wouldn't mind getting a group of beavers either though. But the 20 amber is really nice. Um, the 
Let's go with that. What's that? Fulfill your villagers' need for religion 50 times. Cut through the forest, just discover six glades. We get perk. Plus three to global resolve. 15 amber and 35 pottery. Here we get plus three to global resolve, plus two to grain production, and 40 herbs. I think this one is easier. Um, and these luxury goods I don't know how to get, so hopefully we can get religion, but I won't pick anything yet. Okay, did we open up into the new space? Uh, we did. There isn't much in there. We do need a herbalist camp. We really need a herbalist camp. Let's move you over here to continue on this. Uh, you opened up to in here as well, where there is a lot. There's a stormbird's nest, there's delayed event, there's copper veins, there's farmland. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's see, how many uh, glades did we open? Zero of six, okay. Great, so it has to be after we selected that part, not before. All right. That's fine. Uh, we don't need that many here either. We just need that one tree. So that we can open that glade up. Okay. Alright, the forest hostility is at level 1. Let's see, clothier. I wouldn't mind making coats. I really wouldn't mind making coats. Uh, we need to make flour, don't we? Um, what was it that made flour? It was the uh, lumber mill. There. Build path. There. And I do want this herbalist camp. Um, right, let's start by grabbing some berries. We have no available people to build rope right now, though. Uh, you opened that up. You are going to open that up. Uh, we will unassign a beaver here to be a builder. All right, we open that up. There is something here. Let's, uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, we got that built, so that's good. Okay, our solve is decent, not great. Uh, city buildings, we need a train post, don't we? Uh, hmm. Let's build the train post here. Uh, that's. Hmm. don't have these veggies uh, let's move you and find another glade that we want like to open well we would like to open this one uh, but not yet but we can start making our way towards this one as well so we've opened two glades. 
And we'll open one more there. Two more. That's four. Three, uh, five, six. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, is our builder building on? Uh, we have an available beaver. Uh, we don't have any parts. Yeah, we do. We do. Let's uh, prioritize you. Boost in Butcher, Druid's Hut, and Scribe. We've never seen any of those. I really want a furnace. Uh, what's the reward for this? 15 bricks, 20 fabric, and 20 amber. Okay. And this one is three humans, human clan support, and some parts. Good. So why don't we tell you? Yeah, you are only making those, and you will need two more soon. You don't have anything to do right now, so let's move you down here and finish this up. Uh, all right. Our beaver builder is here with two of the parts. We just need one more, then we have a herbalist camp. And what do we need berries for? We need... I'm not sure what we need berries for. We do need herbs. So I think we'll move it once built. Because herbs. Yes, please. Everyone is eating uh, insects right now. Uh, I guess it's humans that are good for this. Uh, so we'll take you out for now and we'll put you in here. Yeah. Okay. And we're in clearance. Uh, we've almost gotten through to that one. We got through to that one. Uh, yeah, we did that a while back. That's fine. That's more berries, right? Yep. And we're almost to the next storm. So, uh, yeah, I think we will call it here. I think we're doing pretty well. Um, I think we're doing pretty well. So, um... Yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.